Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up the box without showing how well this was packed. Uh, it had like six straps across the outside of these heavy duty boxes. And everything was wrapped up uh, really well. I've already taken some of the wrapping off of this side, but as you can see, everything was wrapped like on this side over here. It doesn't appear to be any damage or anything from the shipment, uh, the long shipment to where I am. So as far as the packaging, everything looks good. Hey everybody, Eric Taylor here. I, uh, it's a very exciting day for me. My racket, roof rack is in. Don't look at my garage, but it's in. Uh, I showed you the box a little earlier and I couldn't put it on. I got it last week before I went to the Bronco Supercell celebration. And today is April the 29th of 2023. I got my Bronco uh, January, 2022. And I've been waiting on a rack like this uh, that will fit a soft top Bronco and I can take the rack off easily and use the roof pull my roof back and also it's designed so you can pull that back hatch up on the bronco on the bronco soft top if you know about that and you're going to watch the installation here of it i'm told it's a little bit more difficult when you're by yourself but i'm by myself uh, so we will see what we can do and you guys watch it's going to be fun so all right, this is coming strangely right after the opening that you just saw. My audio went dead along the way. I did not know it. I put part of this together before realizing it. So you're seeing this now, I'm gonna apologize. One of them things, uh, so the rest of the video, I'm gonna narr narrate the part that I didn't get the film. And hopefully from here on, you'll be able to hear me. I'll have to do it through the uh, mic on the gopro because i do not trust this other road thing i've got so all right so let's get to the video okay these are all the bolts nuts and things you need for each section they're labeled so when then you start putting together one part of it the instructions will say use bag whichever one it is, B or C, or, and it makes it really easy that way. And some, all the tools, you get tools with the package. Uh, you can use those if you want. You really don't need any of your own, but it makes it easier if you have some, uh, some other tools with you. These are the instructions. They're really good instructions. Um, I did have to look at a video some on those too as well, so but uh, basically when you put this rack together, um, you, it, all the pieces just fit together. You have the, on the ends, the piece is kind of pointed at the end and the other ones are all squared off. So you just fit those, these pieces into the slots on each side and then apply the bolts and nuts on each side of it. And for some of this video, I'm going to just speed up the so you can see it's at a faster rate. Some of it I am going to just uh, delete and just show the end product. So uh, just keep watching and I'll make sure I get all the details in here for you on this. So you can put this together. It's really easy to put together. Okay, I've got the other piece on and I've hand tightened all the bolts and nuts and now I'm going around just tightening, tightening them down. It's important to remember just to leave everything hand tight until you get it together and then tighten it down. Obviously, this is the rack and I haven't put the front and back pieces on it yet. And that's about it. I mean, this it's really simple again, like I said. Okay, I keep saying bolts and nuts, but actually it's just bolts here. 
that are threaded into the frame. There's holes already up th uh, in the frame to receive the bolt, so uh, there are no nuts here. And I think that really helps. It makes it easier, and I believe it makes it much stronger because it's directly into the frame. Okay, now that I got the basket together, I am moving on to the back support frame. I'm going to put that together and just showing you guys the instructions here. Okay, again, this is really simple put together and I'm going to show you guys here in a second that is six total uh, bolts for this. So it's really put together really well. And we'll do this side in the next side. Okay, we're finishing up putting together the back support and we're about to hit our video that's got the audio to it so apologize again appreciate you guys hanging in there the rest of the video is on its way okay i forgot i didn't show you the top of this it's got three holes that fit just like that this piece goes on and then you put a bolt with a washer okay okay everything is on loose I just hand tighten them maybe slightly more than hand tighten but you don't want to go you don't want to tighten them up too tight now I'm going to I didn't do this a minute ago I'm going to attach these to the end of the rack You just take these and there's three. Three holes on the end that go in here with the three bolts. So. Okay, I got, I got the rack finished. Now, actually I'm not finished. I've got to put these These go on the outside, so I've got to bolt these on. I don't know what material this is. I forgot what they called it, but uh, that's going to slide. Once you get those on there, that will slide into here like this for sliding the rack on and off. So I'm going to get that on. And then I think I'm going to be done for the day because the next step will be to take off the soft top. And I'm not sure if I'm going to take it all the way off or not, but I'll have my wife to be able to help me tomorrow to do that. And she'll definitely have to help me when we put this on there. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt this on and then i'll let you guys see it before i shut down for the day okay before i can put these on i should have put them on before i put this on because it's got nuts and bolts the bolts go in and you, there's no way to get to the nuts so i'm going to have to take these back off put that on and then put them back on there Okay, so on this, you've got a bolt, two washers, and a nut. And you have a big opening on this end of it, which is going to match up with this. So we're going to run the bolt with one washer through there. And then, on the other side, put the washer and the nut on. 
and we will tighten these down all the way. Okay, now the rack is finished. So I am not going to finish up this evening though. So tomorrow we take the soft top off and put this on. So, well, the soft top just has to come off to get the base brackets down. Then I'm pretty sure we put it back on. So we'll see you guys in the morning to finish this up or tomorrow afternoon after church. If you're not a member of E3 Off-Road, man, you should be. There's tons of events happening. I'm going to be the regional guy in this area. I'm going to be holding off-road events. So I'd love for you guys to come out and be involved with those off-road events. They'll be exclusive for E3 Off-Road members, and we do events all over the country. So, Hey, everybody. I'm back at it today. Going to try to get this... Uh finished putting on my racket designs racket it's really windy today i'm going to try my mic hopefully it's going to work and my rooster is does anybody want to buy a rooster or not buy one i will give you one it's the loudest rooster to ever walk the face of the earth Okay, thought I'd just interrupt here. It, we're going to put the front assembly on now. You will need help for that. Okay, these, you just push this top down. There's a black, uh, kind of looks like a button or something. You push it down and you can just pull these out and use a 10 millimeter. Well, that wasn't hardly tight at all. Don't, it says don't tighten, but I've got to tighten them some. I'm fixing to say, why would you not tighten them? Well, it, you I leave them. until it gets all installed. I guess. Then you tighten them up. I'm going to, going to have to tighten these a little bit because of the, the pad underneath here is just, the nut just barely fits on there. Okay, the next thing is going to be to loosen up the soft top, undo the bolts inside, and either take it all the way off or lift one side up and put the bolt on, uh, put the plate on there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I'm going to get started. And I, so I think all we have to do is take these three off. It's a 13 millimeter. I got the Ford Bronco utility pack out. All the tools you need are in it. Just going to take this the rest of the way off. Hopefully nothing flies off of this. Have to guard against it falling down in the in here. I don't know if you'd ever get it out if it went down in there. Got those off now to do the other side. Okay, I've got the bolts out. I got the roof pulled all the way back. 
So now me and my wife are going to try to pull this off by ourselves. Lift that up. You can do all things. Now. Okay, we had to redo it. Debbie could not pick that up, so I'm just. So, what we're going to do is we got it up to here, and she's going to just hold this out of the way while I put the plates on. We'll do that on. We'll do that on both sides. So it is possible you could do it by yourself, but it's always great to have help. And the instructions are for bag number one. Come out fast, isn't it? What? You gonna get it off of there? Or will it not dry? Yeah, dry. I need to get it off. Inside. There goes my instructions across the driveway. Okay, it should be all right. Huh? So do it like this. We need to tighten this side down so we can push this down and lift the other side up. And I don't know, I'm gonna just pull this all the way out because I don't know where it's supposed to sit on here. Okay, now. Okay, now the instructions say to put the top back on, so this is going to be fun. Okay, I guess the next step is to set the back piece on here, so we'll do that now. Okay, we've got it setting up on the rails, so now I just have to put all these bolts in there, and that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I've got both sides of these attached. I left it loose because we want to make sure that we can get the basket in here and then we tighten everything down. So here we go. Okay, we've got the rack in. And like the instruction said, we left this the uh, connection points and everything, we left them all loose enough where we can get the rack in. And then the next thing you do is you take, there's four of these bolts and they go in one here and there's one of those in each corner. We get those tightened down and then we tighten the whole thing down.
Okay, what I'm doing now is tightening all the bolts down. Once I get them tight, then what the instructions say to do is loosen up those four corner bolts again and pull the rack out and make sure it goes in and out good and then I should be done. So I'm just going around tightening all them down right now. Okay, I didn't film it, but I took the bolts out on all sides and the rack pulled out very easily. I had to have help putting it back in. I, you could probably put it back in yourself, but if you've got somebody else to help you, it is a lot better. So now I'm going to put those bolts back in. So it will be tight. Okay, it is complete. The final thing is these brackets here. And they, clips I guess you would call them, they go on the ends just as an extra safety feature. So you put those on each side and then we will be done. All right, I'm done. Hallelujah. I guess it took me about four hours total to, to finish it up, counting yesterday and today. Uh, I definitely would suggest two people. You could probably do it with one, but two makes it so much easier. Uh, you don't need two there the whole time like you saw with me and my wife. I would go get her whenever I needed her, but um, I would definitely suggest that. It, uh, and you can, the, all the tools are provided that you need, but if you've got some extra wrenches um, to use is great, but you don't have to have them, but I had them, so I use them. But it really wasn't that difficult. You just got to follow directions. And like he says over and over in those directions, just be patient, do things slow, and uh, follow the directions, basically. Uh, if, you're, if you decide you want to get one of these, I have got a code in the description for you guys to use. Um, let them know that I have sent you there. And hopefully you like the video. If you do, go ahead and hit the subscription button, the like button. But let's look at this real quick. I've got a gas can to put on one side and a water on the other. I think it looks really good. 